So you're thinking in the future, in the next 10 years, say, we're going to see a jump in the ability to target a particular gene using gene therapy? In what we're looking at with gene therapy is the ability to correct the genetic defect in a person's body. And what these current generation gene therapies are doing is really uh, strategies to look at replacing the defective genes. But that is going to evolve over the future into really correcting those genetic defects right in the, gene in the cells that are defective in the patient's body, wherever they may be. And beyond that, I mean, it's going to be combination strategies, it's going to be um, new delivery methods, more effective delivery methods that can overcome the immune system. It's given us the ability to even look beyond rare diseases and look into more prevalent diseases across the human population. And so it's really served as a springboard and the future looks bright. There's a a lot coming down the pike in terms of science and uh, new therapeutics, I believe. Part of what you know, we would say to you know, some of those patients that are getting new diagnosis is that Forge is here to help manufacture these gene therapies for life, right? So it's part of what, you know, as we think about how we're trying to bring hope to many of these families, because now with companies like Forge, you know, we're able to really capture, okay, the power you know, of gene therapy and um, make it, you know, in a way that uh, it's going to be um, more easily provided to families. So tell me about in the future, what are your hopes for a family that receives a rare disease diagnosis? Right now, as we see more and more genetic testing has now helped uh, identify disease, genetic disease earlier in their formation or manifestation of these diseases. What I'd hope is that we're gonna see more newborn screening coming up for many of these rare diseases because that's when companies like Forage are really going to be able to impact time frame uh, in these patients, particularly kids, that's going to have the most benefit. When is the absolutely ideal time to administer some of these gene therapies for patients? Most often it's uh, as early as you can in disease progression. Once things have been, once you've actually identified or positively been tested for a genetic disease, um, usually the earlier the intervention, the better. And that's why we talk about uh, the importance of newborn screening related to this because the diagnostic journey for a lot of these rare disease families can be decades long. And if we can capture these diagnoses at birth through newborn screening, the sooner we can um, identify and match them to the appropriate treatments.